G'day guys, Clint here from WaterPro and today I'm at my friend Rob's house. I'm gonna to put together a temporary irrigation system for him to look after his rental property lawn. We've put this package together as an inexpensive way for a rental um, tenant or a homeowner to be able to irrigate their lawn without spending too much money and without uh, having to trench in. Obviously you don't wanna to have to go uh, back to the landlord and ask for permission to do things. This is the kind of system that you can just grab it out of the shed, put it on your lawn, irrigate your lawn, roll it back up, put it back in the shed. It hasn't impacted anything, you're not cutting paths. Um, and the best part about it is when you move to your home that you're gonna own or into another rental, you can take it with you. What the kit comes with is a 15 meter multi-purpose hose. It comes with three of these spikes, which you'll work out how they work a little bit later on. And these snap-on connectors that we're gonna to use to be able to have either one, two, or three of these spikes operating at any one time. Now, the pair of scissors and the tape measure that I have here are not part of the kit. Uh, we're assuming you've got something like that at home. If you don't have scissors, you can use a Stanley knife, a hacksaw, a flamethrower, uh, lightsaber, teeth, um, steak knife, um, cigarette lighter, uh, oxy torch, grinder. Uh, you could rub it on the uh, side of a wall until it snaps, but you get the point. So the tape measure is obviously to try and get the distance. Now, now these um, are a Rainbird R van head. They're an adjustable head, but they're a, a 90 to 210, I believe. No, 45 to 210. So they're a 45 to 210 degree nozzle. Uh, they are hand adjustable, so you don't have to have tools. All of this can be put together with your hands and just something to cut it with. So we're gonna locate where Rob's tap is and try and make the system the most suitable gapped system for his house. Oh, perfect, tap's here. All right, so this is Rob's tap. Whoops. Now, you could do a bucket test uh, to work out how much water's coming out of this, but the reality is we've only got three R vans. They're not gonna use that much water. Uh, so I'm confident just in looking at that, there's gonna be enough water to come coming out of it coming out of the tap. If you don't have enough water coming out of the tap, then you just use less sprinklers. So we've got three in this kit, you just connect two of them together. So let's have a bit of a look at the area and work out where the sprinklers are gonna go. Now, I had a Google Maps view of this a little earlier today, just to get an understanding of the square meters of the lawn as well as the lengths of the areas. What's gonna to have to happen is we're gonna make um, a system that has uh, three sprinklers on it and each sprinkler will be about four meters apart because then we need enough hose to get back to here. The other alternative is that Rob might have a garden hose here already that he can bring out to the system and just snap it on. So actually I think we'll do it that way for his system. So we'll use the garden hose that comes with the kit which is a 15 meter hose. We'll cut five meter length so we'll have three lengths so that we can put a length so we've got sprinkler number one, length, sprinkler number two, length, sprinkler number three. Oh, then we've got five meters to go back to the hose, um, back to the, the tap. I hope that makes sense. So I'll start cutting that up now, show you how it all goes together, and then we'll put some fertilizer on this lawn and try and bring it back to some kind of acceptable standard so that he can be the guy in the street with the greenest lawn. So we're going to join these all up. Uh, these are all, all of these fittings have O-rings in them and O-rings on them. So you can screw that onto there. You don't need to use thread tape. Screw that onto there. Screw that onto there. Don't need to use thread tape. Screw the sprinkler head onto there. Again, don't need to use thread tape. Now, the, that white line is gonna become important later on in this process because the white line will be, the I think, the right-hand side, but we'll work that out. So it might be a case that we need to adjust it slightly so it's pointing the right way or just stick the spike in in a way that the, the sprinkler works. So. There'll be one sprinkler at the start, there'll be another sprinkler in the middle, and then this one, we've got a cap on it. That's gonna be the sprinkler at the end. So, as I said before, if you can't get all, all three operating, you can just remove one of those and just use those two sprinklers. If we have five meters between those, that's gonna be 10 meters of hose, and it's gonna leave us five meters of hose to get back to the tap. As I said before, Rob's got a garden hose out the back, so if he needed to, he could, if he wanted to water over this side, he could use his garden hose from the tap and run that over, but, um, the idea is to run the, the hose length between the two sprinklers, or between two sprinklers, needs to be the same as the distance that the sprinklers throw. So these sprinklers are around a four and a half meter throw, so we're gonna stick five meters of hose between each sprinkler, and like I said, have five meters to get back to the start. All right, so we'll start cutting this up. So the nozzles we're using are a blue nozzle. They're the smallest of the R-Vans. 
Uh, they only throw, like I said, about four meters. If you had used the maroon ones, which don't come in this kit, uh, then you would just tune them down where needed. Now this is a, a, the kind of setup that you could probably have uh, together and operating in your house within 10 minutes. It's really easy to set up. We don't pre-cut the hose just in case you want to put them closer together or further apart. All right, that was meant to happen. That's right. All right, so if the manufacturer made this hose to the length that it says on the box, we now have three pieces of hose that are five meters long. You would have used these fittings before, but I'll just show you in case you haven't. Put the back nut on there, make sure you've got a nice clean cut, push the fitting on, tighten up the nut. Then grab another one. Hopefully we've got enough, eh? And that is set up. So what I'm gonna do now is just put out some fertilizer and then we'll set the sprinklers up properly and show you how they work. Okay, so I've just applied some Lawn Hub Trojan available at lawnhub.com.au if you're looking for a shameless plug. Speaking of shameless plugs, I'm gonna stick these in the lawn now five meters apart. We're gonna put them in the most sensible area, irrigate for probably half an hour. We wanna get 11 or 10 or 11 mil of water onto this lawn, it might rain a little bit, but it's not gonna be much. If it rains tonight, it might be one or two mil. I don't see much coming, because I'm a weather forecaster. Uh, these put out 14 mil an hour if they're spaced correctly. So you probably even 45 minutes. It'll water this in nicely and then we'll move it around. So I've got a PT session soon that goes for 45 minutes. So we'll probably water for 45 minutes while I'm doing a PT and then we'll move them afterwards. But Duffy won't be here because he clocks off. So we'll find a place to put these, get them on, show you how that, that works. Uh, these are available at waterpro.com.au if you're interested. I think currently they're under $100, obviously that'll change depending on when you watch the video. Uh, but you know, that plus delivery 110, pretty inexpensive way to water a rental without just dragging a sprinkler around. So check that out. If you've got any questions or comments, stick them in the comments section below. More than happy to help you out with anything you need. That would have been a good blooper, me getting wiped out by a magpie. <laughs> so the white line which is an indicator line. I've got it on my left at the moment. Holy moly. Left, left. And that one's on the left. That one's on the right. Let's see if this works. <coughs> left. So this is either gonna spray everything that way or everything that way. So we'll start here and work our way back. And hopefully this works, otherwise it's going to be really embarrassing for Reedy because he's going to lose his job live. Uh, it depends how this goes. <laughs> That's how he got hired on Snapchat. You know that? I interviewed one of the, this guy and I just sent him a Snapchat saying you got the job. So we can fire him on YouTube. That'd be, um, that'd be cool. Maybe he wouldn't think so. So, the R-Van is an adjustable nozzle. Now this one, it's that white line is the left-hand side of the sprinkler. Now that's not tight enough. See how I'm getting wet? That there hasn't been tightened up enough. What's that? Ah, uh, well not really. It's how it came out of the kit. Um, see that there? That's not tight enough either. So if you're getting leaks, which now we're not, uh, it's because they weren't tightened up enough. Now, what I'm gonna do is just push down on the top of this and turn that until these are pointing down that line, not too far that it wet stuffy. And so now you can see it's throwing that 90 degree angle. Now, if it's throwing too far, this one here underneath, 
you can adjust it down. Look how far down I can go. Almost turn it off. So that's why we use the R-Vans on this system because they throw um, a decent flow, uh, but they're very easily adjustable. So I'm just gonna make that one go back there. And then see this one here? This one needs to be made into a 180. So all I'm doing is pushing down on it. 180, probably a bit more than a 180. And then this one here needs a bit of tightening up. Straight into my crutch. And then into yours. <laughs> there we go. So we've just got to get that last. I don't want to pull that off because water will go everywhere. We can fix that up afterwards, but that's the that's the idea. So now that's watering this whole area and it's watering out to here, which makes sense because it's five meters apart and they're throwing five meters. So then what would happen next is Rob could grab all of those sprinklers and bring it to this, this side of the apple tree and make them spray the next five meters and then I'd put the, the next lot on the road and have them spray up because we've got about a 10 meter, I think it's 10 meters from the concrete to the curb. So he could open them up when they get into the middle and have them doing a 270. It's not perfect. Or he could put one on the edge doing a 180 and then one in the middle doing a 270. You'll get a bit of a, an idea of what works best for you. Have a bit of play around with it. If you've got any questions, obviously we're here to help. Uh, so you can email us at sales at waterpro.com.au send us a message over any of our social media channels or just comment on the video. Uh, the idea is that we're here to help you uh, and that, you know, this gives you a very easy rental quality irrigation system that you can use at your rental property or even at the house that you own to make your lawn just that little bit better. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, I know I've said it, I'm gonna say it again. Stick them in the comments section below, otherwise keep it green. Thanks for tuning in.